Whenever pigeon financiers ask me for an advice, I would always tell them, it definitely starts with good breeding. Kaya ngayon mga kalapatids, no more secrets. All my techniques will be revealed. Racing pigeon breeding is a selective mating of a cock and hen racing pigeons. Here at Advanced Hobby Slope, our breeding starts at mid of December and ends by April. The reason is uh, during rainy season, which is off season, medyo di malusog ang mga sisyo because uh, of the weather. In all aspects ng mga annual breeding, uh, hindi sila healthy, ang mga offspring di healthy. Normally, we breed uh, three to four clutches. First round, I go for my north racers. Second round, my south racers. Ka. Third round, my line breeding, in breeding. Ka. Fourth round, my four shades. Ka. During breeding, you need to prepare your breeding cell. My breeding cell is 24 inches width, and depth is around 12 inches, and the height is 18 inches. Inside the breeding cell, you should prepare a nesting ball. A nesting ball, a material you should use sometimes, uh, you use sand, bohangin or you can use newspaper, sometimes others use uh, tobacco stem. I would advise you to use newspaper. You know, mas convenient, mas madali. And sun sometimes nag-accumulate mga dirt, mga bacteria, sometimes it would affect you my offspring. The breeding cell, just make sure the loft is well ventilated because if the loft is not well ventilated, the breeding pair will not be in good condition. The loft design should be uh, well ventilated in such a way that the upper portion you should have around 10 inches in a vent and the lower portion above the floor may 10 inches in a vent. This way uh, the air can circulate to promote good ventilation. You know to distinguish the sex. Ang, it, this is a cock. Ang pagkakaiba ng cock and the hen, ang ulo niya. Mas malaki ang ulo ng cock and ang, kat ang katawan niya mas, bulk, mas malaki siya. Ang cock, mas malaki ang ulo nila at ang body conformation, mas malaki sila. Ang hen, mas maliit ang ulo and mas uh, apple body sila. This is a crack 52 line. Uh, I'd like to show you the difference of a hen. Makita niyo ng ulo niya, medyo mas maliit and ang katawan niya mas maliit. In my breeding program, I select those breeders that had uh, produced good progeny in my previous races. And uh, sometimes I use my line bred bird and outcross them to another line. I start using my breeders at the age of one year above. Do not breed breeders that are below one year old, they're too immature. Then ginagamit ko sila up to six years old, except on those that have been producing consistently ng mga good progeny, ng mga winners. So ginagamit ko pa rin sila, basta magpo-produce lang sila. Those breeders that did not perform in three races, inaalis ko na sila. After my north-south races, another chance in the north, pag they cannot produce any good progeny, inaalis ko na sa breeding loft ko yung mga breeders na yan. Pag nananalo sila, it means they are in the right conformation and they're healthy, definitely. That's why nakadulo sila. So from those body na, na sinasalat nyo palagi ng mga winners, you can develop a skill of selecting good conformation. Now, birds that are small, okay pa. Medium birds, the best, but never big birds. I'll show you one good example of a big bird. Kitang kita nyo, ang lapad ng katawan nitong ibon na ito. Normally, big birds, you need two hands to hold them. I hate big birds. Pag malaki, out sila sa breeding lock ko. Now, I'd like to show you the comparison between a big bird and a small bird. Makita nyo nyo, ang layo ng katawan nila. Big birds don't perform, they're very slow they produce big offspring. So I eliminate mga big birds. The bloodline that are performing in my love are my original foundation bird, na si Crack 52, Flying Machine, and the outcross between the two na produce Flying 52. And I outcross them to the uh, Gerald Koopman lines, uh, to uh, Philippines, and to uh, Vandenbroek. These three bloodlines blend very well with my bloodline. Itong hawak kong ibon ay isang linyada ng Crack 52 lines ko. Ang date ng Sing Sing na is way back 2008. Kung 2008 nandito pa sa love ko, it means this is the top breeder. 
Uh, normally, mga six years old pa lang, tinatanggal ko na sa loft, hindi sila nagpaproduce. This bird had produced a lot of middle to long distance bird. Puro mga 2K winner, super set winner, and mga lap champion. So it's one of my top breeder, the crack all eyes. Ang feature ng crack PT2, yung streak niya sa, sa mata, pag may streak na ito, normally, most of them, uh, may streak na ito, it's crack PT2 line. Here, I have Magic Dancer. It's out of the uh, flying machine line. It's an inbreed and line breed bird go. This bird is a hen and had produced a lot of winners for me. Ang flying machine line ko dati, mga offspring nun, uh, isang pula, isang checkered. Since I hate flying red birds dahil uh, marupok ang pakpak nila, I try to line breed and inbreed only the blue checks. All I have are blue check, wala na red check. Through selective breeding, I was able to produce pure blue check na flying machine line. And this line crosses very well, especially on long distance. Since uh, flying machine is a Tacloban champion. I have here is a flying kick. Uh, it's a line bred, a flying 52 line. And flying 52 line is an outcross of flying machine and crack 52. My two outstanding foundation line in our cross I was able to produce Flying 52, which is an uh, overall champion. Unfortunately, uh, still uh, with me, the Flying 52 wala na siya sa condition dahil nag prolapse. So when you say prolapse, you cannot breed them anymore. And di na siya bumabalik sa dating condition, but she's still with me. Tinabi ko lang siya and try to condition her. From outcrossing my two foundation line, most consistent and Flying 52 line ko. This line is good for 2K and super set and this line has been winning a lot for me now when i outcross them philippines is for long distance lang talaga they were not performed during uh, short distance races and uh, bandenbrook and uh, koopman uh, they do perform middle and long distance so that's how i pair them now i have here with me uh, isang uh, bandenbrook line she did this boy why tinawagan na Didi's boy? Because top bird, the Bandenbrook, ay si Didi. So I line bred the Didi line of Bandenbrook and I was able to produce a lot of good breeders from Bandenbrook and a lot of winners from the Bandenbrook line. This cock has been producing a lot of winners for me and it's been a top flyer and a top breeder for me. It's a three-year-old cock. Here with me is the Philippine line. The um, Philippine line is well known for uh, a lot of Barcelona champions. Major uh, bloodline is the uh, Bros Meyers and the Eterbach. The Philippines birds are rather big, medyo malaki sila. They're slow, mabagal sila, but consistently umuwi sila. Pagdating sa long distance, expect this slow bird to perform on long distance races. My sprint bird usually I for short distance. Pag dumating sa long distance, you cannot expect a sprint bird. The Philippines line had won for me a lot of MacArthur winners. For the North, meron din akong overall champion na Philippine line. Very consistent. One more advice. Never breed a sprint bird to a long distance bird. Do not expect, pag pinasok mo yung sprint bird sa isang long distance bird, bibilis ang long distance bird nyo. They will not perform. From the first race, up to the last race, normally in Europe, it's only middle distance. But here, when we reach 550 to 600 plus, we consider that long distance because dito, uh, mas mahirap ang uh, karera dito, tumatawid tayo ng dagat, may init ang panahon dito. So I assume I, uh, ang 550 above, we consider long distance here in our country. Ito naman ay si Top Kupi. Top Kupi is an imported Gerald Koopman blue check cock. There are two imported bloodlines that are performing very well in the Philippines. One is the Bandenbrook. Alam na natin lahat. Lahat, uh, it's after Bandenbrook line dahil maraming gumagamit ng Bandenbrook na nanalo. The other line is Koopman. A lot of my birds are performing cross with Koopman bloodline. It's been performing very well and every time there's an auction on Koopman birds, I never fail to buy one. Pag good confirmation ang pinag-usapan, karamihan dyan, mga hobbies, mga fansier, gusto niyo yung apple body. Masarap yung salat. But there's one thing I tell you about deep kill, like this bird. 
it has very good confirmation and pagsalat mo hindi masarap isalat may deep kill siya but I tell you deep kill are the long distance bird those birds that are performing in the long distance pag sinalat ko normally for a deep kill para sa breeding training racing at recovery ng ating mga kalapati use power wings dahil ito magaling